Welcome YouTube, this is the Velvet Locks with a weight loss update video. Now, I mentioned in my last video that I am back on my weight loss journey, of course, yes. And my goal is to actually lose at least 15 to 20 pounds. Now, I've gotten questions regarding how much weight did I actually gain. And um, I guess in this video, what I'm going to do is be a little bit more transparent with you guys and let you in a little bit more on how much weight I've actually gained. Now, on my last journey, my goal was to actually lose, and that's what I did, but, but I was still shrinking and actually lost that extra 10, which made it 50 pounds in total. Now, I lost all of that weight without exercising, and because of that, I lost a lot of my muscle mass. Well, with the weight that I've lost, I've actually gained back 30 pounds. Yes. Now, a lot of you may think that, oh, girl, you you know, I've gotten comments like this. Girl, you, you looked fine before. You looked normal. You was not fat. I don't know what you was talking about. And yes, I may not have looked fat. I may not have seem fat to other people, especially when we have this whole idea of what fat is. But it was unhealthy. It was really unhealthy fat from my body frame. And because of that, I felt the effects of carrying that extra weight, which I'm sure a lot of you understand what I'm talking about. And when you are carrying extra weight, you start to feel the aches, the pains, the you just start to feel a whole lot different. You start to feel things just doing its own thing, or you don't feel good. You don't feel healthy. You don't have enough energy. You're winded. You may even feel some palpitations going on in your heart. So that's basically what has been going on with me. I've been feeling the pressure of carrying the extra weight, especially after I've shrunk down to a smaller frame and then my body got used to that smaller frame, then to only expand it a little bit and now it's like, okay, your body got used to being small and now you're growing again and you're starting to feel the pressures of that. Basically, I've just been lazy, okay? I haven't been that energetic person. Although, yeah, there's times I do have my energy, but I don't know if some of it is hormonal as, as well. So I'm kind of battling between two forces in a sense, which some of you have already mentioned to me about menopausal status and the battle as far as the losing of the weight because your body it retains the water and you tend to go up and down fluctuating in your weight. Well, I am experiencing that right now. But before it gets out of control, that's why I decided to restart my journey. I bought all new clothes. <laughs> Yeah. all the way down to the underwear to only be able to go back to my large size clothing that I still had okay so that's where I realized that yes girl you spend too much money trying to fit into you know trying to fit your body into your smaller frame now to only be expanding to the bigger sizes so that's when I said enough is enough and when you get to the point, and this is one thing we got to catch ourselves before it gets out of control. And a lot of times we see it happening right in front of our faces and we don't do anything about it. And the thing is, when we realize that we're, that we're expanding to the point where we're accommodating that weight by buying clothes to fit that weight size, that's when we know that we are really, um, in a sense, disillusioned because... You're, 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 you're visually seeing that you're growing, but instead of doing something about it at that moment, we get comfortable. And in our comfortableness, we tend to accommodate it, purchasing bigger clothes, you know, we're okay with that. And that's how we slide back into our old ways. And before you know it, you wake up one day and it's like, where did all of that come from? That's the awakening moment that I had. And it really, really hit me more. Each mirror is different. The mirrors in my home are different, but this times it kind of like shocks me because I'll walk past it and it's like, Whoa, where did that come from? You know, but it wasn't until I went to the mountains. Now for some reason, the mirrors in the mountains, 
first of all they're really big mirrors so they get to, you get to see your whole full body in the bathroom and the whole nine and usually that's where I see a lot of my weight okay and not even just that but just when I put on my clothing you you all know what I'm talking about you know when you're carrying extra weight and you're winded even if it's just to put your clothing on all right so these are the things that I've been battling with that I've been noticing about my gaining of weight and what led me to want to start getting back on my journey now being on a healthy lifestyle journey meaning you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle you're trying to eat better you're trying to incorporate things that will prolong your life and your health and your wellness and that's a good thing now there's nothing wrong with you seeing that okay fine you kind of slid a little backwards that's just being real that's just living life some people's metabolisms are different and they're able to burn fat faster well I used to be that way but as I got older not anymore I'm still on my healthy journey um, I never really steered too much from it although I've dabbled on the wild side mm -hmm. and was eating those Lay's chips drinking those fruity drinks those sweet liqueurs and all of that and that's what did it it's the excess sugar the um, processed foods the extra sodium in those foods also in those chips I did a, I did a video on those Lay's chips and it being so toxic to the point where it kind of poisons your body because of all the toxins that's made from those chips so me knowing better and those things being so darn addicting man I tell you but when you got cravings coming back and you find yourself falling backwards that's the time to really get a hold of yourself and you know get a hold of yourself because if you don't you will gain more than what you lost and I've heard so many people say that and that's one thing I do not want to happen so like I said that's the reason why I restarted my weight loss journey because I did notice that I have gained some of the weight and I kind of enjoyed the thickness which I do I do I do I do enjoy my thickness it just needs some tweaking okay it really does and before I allow myself to go out of control as far as being out of shape and not comfortable with the way my body is is figured I don't want that big belly I don't want that oompa loompa booty the little oompa loompa booty I don't want to look like a oompa loompa and if the, you don't know what that is I'm gonna put a picture somewhere around here well they have these little little people called oompa loompas and they have big booties big legs okay and you know I'm already blessed with a five head so I'm not trying to look like a oompa loompa all right and that's how it felt to me that I was looking although my daughters told me ma listen mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, ma they were pretty much my police my food police and telling me you know listen you you going back to that what happened you know when did you start doing that again you know but my honey of course now he loves the thickness so he's like hey 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 you know and i'm like i'm fat i'm fat i'm fat so it's to the point where you got to know when to stop for yourself and not allow the people around you to either motivate you into eating more but to help you along even with some criticism it may not always sound nice and I had to battle with that for a little bit, hearing the constructive criticism from my children and come to the realization that yes, 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 it's time to, to really do something about it. So it's all about really getting a hold of yourself, getting tired of the way in which you're looking again and wanting to really make a difference. You know, I look back at some of my videos and or should I say when I lost the weight and I'm telling you I look so much younger you know and I realize when you when you gain the weight you start to look a lot older I'm not trying to look old before my time okay. mm -hmm. but I did enjoy the fact that my skin was beautiful, beautiful.
beautiful and flawless not to mention my, my just it, there was a glow and a radiance that bounced off of me and it looks slimmer I looked like my oldest daughter which which is I think she'll be 30 next year so we looked like sisters I mean me and my my 16 year old was wearing the same size now being a woman of a certain age I don't I realized that I did not want to be that skinny anymore because I am no longer a girl and I had a girl figure after being a woman a, a woman a voluptuous woman then to go back to a girl figure a lot of people kind of ask me so many questions like what's wrong you know you're losing so much weight don't lose no more weight you're not a little girl anymore men like thickness men like meat you know I've been hearing that all the time men like meat so don't disappear stop losing the weight and it's true I allowed myself to get caught up with trying to get rid of all of that weight before that I lost my curves I lost my focus as far as my realistic weight loss and it wasn't until after I lost all of that weight and I saw how skinny skinny shapelessly skinny that I was that made me realize that I did too much now it was wonderful to see that yes girl you can lose that weight yes yes and you can still bounce back and look good so that was a, an accomplishment to see that after all them years of of having my children and having this weight grow on me and not do anything about it for so many years to see that i can finally actually lose this weight and be healthy again but after I lost all of my muscle tone, that's when it made me realize, and I started seeing females all over, and I started admiring, wow, she got nice curves. Wow, I had curves like that. It wasn't so bad being curvy like that. So, hmm, you may need to like boost up now. And that's what kind of led me into going on a high protein diet afterwards so I can build back up that muscle that I lost and it worked it really worked I boost up that muscle mass I got that those those the, the legs and the you know everything looking tight and right but at the same time I started living a little too much and was just eating everything eating all sorts of saturated trans fat foods high sodium rich foods and the sugars, Lord have mercy, the sugars, the soda. I mean, I was never a soda drinker, and then the sodas. So I slipped into some really scary habits that caused my body to show. It, it was time, it really was time. So yes, you guys, just to encourage you all, this is why some of you may have already, you know, said, forget it, I can't do it. You know, you lost a couple of pounds, you got a little happy and then you started doing your regular stuff and it came back and this is where we kind of flip flop back and forth into these this weight fluctuation type of thing and it gets to the point of frustration because you know you're back at where you were and you need to lose the weight and it was a struggle just to get your mind right to do it to begin with so my second journey now was even harder to start than my first one because I knew all of the work that I put into losing all of that weight. And it was a mental thing that I did not want to tackle. I did not want to deal with. I do not want to drink that Bragg's. Oh my God, I'm tired of the taste of it. I'm tired of getting up every morning and doing this and doing that. But it's a must. It really is a must. It's a must that you stay focused. It's a must that you do what is necessary to be healthier. And um, it really, really works. Even with having diabetes and high blood pressure, this can actually heal you okay by drinking your brags every day maybe twice a day as well as eating healthy and exercising you can be cured from diabetes and high blood pressure my sweetie is a living testimony i'm going to list the um either in the cards or down below the video of his testimony of being cured and i think that video is maybe a, a two months old he's still no signs of diabetes he's been cleared he's been at the doctor since then they show no signs in his blood work of diabetes and his 
high blood pressure is no longer there as long as he maintained not getting out of control you know upset or sodium rich foods or just eating properly and doing the right thing that's what will do it you guys that's what will do it so our bodies can heal itself but we have to do the right things by putting the right things in us and yeah I just wanted to pop back on to encourage all of you who are struggling who are struggling you see your sis right here I was struggling my struggle was just being too happy and forgetting my goals got accustomed to the fact that I lost the weight and just thought it was gonna be so easy breezy and as easy as I lost it is as easy and fast as I can gain it too if I don't stay mindful so this is where we fall short when we get comfortable okay in our accomplishments of losing our weight and not sticking to the format of what caused us to lose the weight which is healthy eating exercising lots of water which is still my darn problem 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 but I do have to change that I do have to change that but yeah the struggle continues you guys it continues weight loss healthy lifestyle some people make it look like it's nothing some people it's just how they frame their mind and that's just how they are and they just they just stay the same size all the time but like some of you have mentioned in my comment box it's really tough when you're a mother and you're fixing meals for a family and really and truly I usually cook healthy for my whole entire family so whatever I eat they eat so it's not like it's meals that's so off the chart that my family wouldn't enjoy because they love it when I make my vegetable dishes and healthy meats along with vegetable dishes. I cook for them as well. It's just when we go out, that's where I fall short, going out and getting comfortable, okay? comfortable and that comfortableness is what feeds those little cravings that we had before and that we might have lost but we feel and see them coming back again it's because we feeding we're feeding those cravings all the little things that we didn't eat before or we stopped eating because we stopped craving those foods but once we started eating those again even in small portions you're feeding that craving and by doing that you slip back into your bad habits and that's exactly what happened to me so just to let you guys know it's hard sometimes it is a struggle at times but it's just to stay motivated and stay mindful that's it motivated and mindful and be around like-minded people it's hard when you're in a relationship and you're the one that needs to lose weight and the other person is good a slam trim Okay, and they can eat it just about anything they want. But anyways, it's hard when you are um, not around like-minded people, people who are also on a weight loss journey, people that you can be encouraged by, you can bounce off ideas from each other, stay motivated, which is why I try to make a lot of these videos. But once I lost all the weight, it was like, okay, how often can I come back here and motivate you guys? Well, now I'm back. <laughs> motivational videos to keep you on the bandwagon to keep your mind focused I'm here because I'm here as a living testimony it's hard at times it really is but once you see your body slipping backwards start making changes right away before it's too late and then you wake up one day and it's like who the heck are you all right <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for sticking by me. Thank you so much for being there with me, being my ride or dies. I got the best subbies in the world. You guys are family, okay? And you keep me accountable on top of my toes as well. And that's what I need, honestly. That's what I need. You talk about how I've inspired you in so many ways, but you don't realize how much you keep me inspired and motivate me to get back on my 
P's and Q's as well. Because who am I to preach if I'm not going to follow the same things that I'm telling you what to do and what not to do? Who am I if I don't follow that as well? Okay? So, yes, I got to live by an example. And you guys have held me accountable. And you weren't bad about it. You weren't bad about it. But I noticed in pictures and videos and here and there comments, yeah, girl, it's time. You better do something about that. Because if not, you're going to be back to square one. So stay motivated, you guys. I got so many motivational videos, so many tips, tricks, so many teas, detoxes, so many recipes. I mean, things that will help you on your journey. Easy ideas, lots of detox infused waters. I mean, snacks, everything. Okay, as well as check out other YouTubers who are on a health journey as well. That you see their progress. You know that they're actually on a journey. Not someone that can just tell you, oh, lose 30 pounds in two days and they're skinny. That makes no sense to me. Okay, follow people who are really hustling out there to stay on their journey. May even get frustrated. Okay, and want to give up. But at the same time, they're sticking in there, all right? And that's what it is. It's a journey. Not all of our journeys are easy. Some are very hard. So it's just to get through and make it happen. Make it happen. And these little daily steps and changes are what you see later on in a whole. Then all of a sudden, you're realizing, wow, wow. Mmm, <laughs> I look good. And this is the perfect time to do it because it's starting to get cold again. Starting to put those layers on. Best time to start working out eating right. So that when it's time for that hot summer to come out, you can strip off all of those layers and have that physique. <laughs> pow, pow, cut up, pow, pow. All right. And be rocking for the next summer. So the journey starts. Okay, you guys? Get on the journey. I'm also trying to include videos of things that I've eaten for the day. Ideas to give you, whether it be for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or just whatever, but ideas of things that I've been doing. Now, one of the things that I have started doing in the mornings and the afternoons is, instead of eating a big meal, I have a breakfast smoothie. I have my Bragg's apple cider vinegar concoction, then later on, I start blending my peanut butter banana smoothie with some oats in it. Or I will make my green smoothie with my avocado in it. And then in between the, the morning, you know, and the lunch time, I may also have a fruit. But I try not to fill up on big meals during the daytime. And then in the evening around dinner time, I have a nice sensible sized meal and I'll top it off with a detox tea. And this way, tea will help flush out the fats and ba basically being that I'm not putting fats in my body, I'm burning it off faster. So that's how you do it. You know, if you really wanna lose that weight fast, there's ways of doing it, but you gotta be sensible in your goals. Yeah, I'm trying to get this weight back off because I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like my face looking fat. No, I don't. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> but you guys, thank you so much. And as always, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe down below. Put them thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up, that like button if you want to see more of these kind of videos. As well as share these videos on your Facebook. Share them with friends and family. Send them message to your peoples, you know, whoever's also on a journey. And keep each other motivated, you know, because we are all struggling to do something to improve our bodies in some way, all right? So, yes. And as always, you guys, uh, make your comments down below. Whatever questions you have, also whatever videos you want me to do, put them right down below, okay? And I'm also going to have a P.O. Box for you soon of where you can send whatever letters. If you want to email me, I'm going to put an email address down below for whatever questions you may have or videos you may have. If you want to do a, um, if you have any issues in a relationship issues and you need some advice, I'm going to put it all down there below, okay? So again, as always, thanks for joining me and come back and I'll see you in the next video.